If you are joining VATP University for EC department, this video is for you. Just stay tuned until the end of the video and I promise your each and every query will be clarified. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek. I host this channel. I make various educational content videos and I am also an alum from EC department DC core. So today we will be talking about my experiences of being an EC student, what facilities, what faculties, what experiences, student experiences you can uh, expect from VATP University. University. So why delay? Just stay tuned until the end of the video and if you have any friends who are joining VATP University, share them my playlist so that it can help them decide if this university is for them or not and if this video really helped you, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. So coming to this specific video, I will be talking about the facilities, the faculty and my experience with all these people, all the faculties out there, the student environment, the placements and also a uh, few students asked me about uh, semester abroad program and I will also be talking about that as well. Let's start off with the facilities out there. What facilities do we need as a student? Laboratory facilities, class facilities and the research facilities, also placements and other things, right? So coming to the facilities out there, libraries, uh, you, you cannot expect every student to get a book, right? It is not a shop, it is a library. So books are quite good in number, you can get a book and if all the books that are in the general section, it uh, it's taken by everybody, you can refer a book from the special section as well. You cannot lend those books, but you can refer those in the library. So there is no shortage of books. There is also a digital library out there and this criteria should be very clear. Few students ask me if there is even a library at a university. Uh, that's uh, some of the some of a group. It's one of the question from group of silly questions, but uh, libraries do exist in universities. There are it's like mandatory and uh, um, there are a lot of books. You need not worry about that. As per the requirement, they even bring in new books. Going on to see other research facilities as well. There is a proper research and lab facilities at the university. Uh, lab facilities, what happens? Uh, universities out there usually do not have much uh, licenses required for the students. They usually ask you to share the licenses with the two or three students bun bundled together. And that is not things which happen here. We have enough licenses because coming especially to the EC department, we have uh, softwares which are expensive and it, dep it becomes difficult for the university to buy all those licenses. But VIT is one of those universities which did not compromise and we are fortunate enough. We get enough licenses and also some softwares. You can get it installed in your laptop as well and they give you uh, email ID, right? With that, you can log in and access it anywhere, uh, even if you go home, etc. So in these kind of uh, license issues as well, there is no uh, compromise in that. Lab facilities are also very good. Research facilities, as per the research, whatever you're going to do, your faculty will allot you resources. There are also abundance of that as well. Going on to see the faculty quality as well. First, before going into the section, just go into the VATP.ac or in university website, go into the faculty, go into the department, whatever you're interested in, just check out their qualifications. If you're really interested in deep, just go check out the LinkedIn profiles as well so that uh, you will understand how qualified the faculty are. Basically, faculty are very good. They are decently qualified for a university professor to be and they will give you whatever is required, right? Whatever is needed for you to be a student, everything is there, right? Teaching is very good. The way of method is very good. The student curriculum is very good and you're going to have very good experience with the faculties. Some faculties are from the local language as well. Some faculties are from North Indian places as well. So there is going to be a mixture of everybody. And if you really want your doubt to be clarified, you can speak with them in your local language as well. This is not a school, right? There is no restriction in that. And so this is how things work. You can go clarify your queries later in personally as well. This is, uh, you know, there is no restriction with that. And faculty is also very good. So this is how things work out for placements. Placements related to ECA is very minimum. What you need to understand, for example, if 30 companies come into placements, only one or two will be of uh, ECE ones and other will be related to CSE. That is uh, the fact. I have explained in detail about my placements experience related to ECE, how I landed a core job at ECE in, uh, in the VATP University. In this video, you can just go check that out. But in this video, what we are going to talk about is that placements uh, is a little difficult if you want to land a core job. but if you want a job, money is your only target and uh, you know, 
getting any job works for you you just need a job even that in that case there are lots of opportunities cs companies there are like four five hundred six hundred companies come in i don't even remember the number hundreds of companies come in if you put in a hard work for one or two months as well you will crack one or two companies very easily so you just need to put in some hard work and sense of mind or the presence of mind is required little hard work is required so this is related to the placements just check out this video i have explained in detail that is about 10 minutes video about how core placements work this is how placements related to core work and going on to see the semester abroad program at vitap university what happens is that this is kind of a program where they say you need to study three years here, two years there. Uh, they give you fee structure there as well, fee structure here as well. You need to pay, you need to write full, you know, whatever documents you have, everything you need to write. The fees is that expensive. Um, so you need to go there, uh, do your MS and in five years what happens is that they give you a together B.Tech plus M.Tech, right? I don't know if this still exists in the university, but I don't see the complete worth of that. If you are really interested to study abroad, complete your bachelor's and do M.Tech as well, MS as well in the abroad. This is very good scope, uh, not that universities define you as an VATA university, which is a low university which started recently. but. I got good admits from the master's universities out there. Many students out there are doing master's, my friends. So it, it's not like university is not that reputed. It is reputed even from master's or US universities perspective. So that, that, that should not be a uh, issue. You can do BTEC here, MTEC, MS there because uh, I don't see the real worth of you paying that much heavy amount and going work, doing your studies there for one year or one and a half year and getting MS. It's just like naam ke vaste or namesake, right? So this is how you need to understand this about master semester abroad program. Kindly check out with the university officials much detailed information as well. So one more thing I need to explain is the student environment and what you can expect from that. Basically, students come from various other places of the country and since that MSET has been uh, accepted as the uh, intake criteria recently for the last one year and this is the second year, you can expect students from the local region as well a little more. Uh, I expect to be 60 students out of every 100 students will be local students. Uh, mostly it is going to be that because uh, they are going to come in through VIT, Triple E, they are going to come in through MSET. So there is going to be little domination. Understand that. But students from all across India also come in because it is a VIT university. It is a reputed ones across the country. So environment is going to be a kind of a multicultural type of environment. You, you will learn a lot. I have learned a lot because Students from all types come in, right? Who are clever, who are sharp, who don't care about subject. Everybody come in. You get to learn a lot of things from all these kind of people. And trust me, you are going to have a good experience. Not that uh, one thing you need to notice that there might be a little more density of local people because of the university's policies of taking in students from VAT, Triple E and MSET as well. So that's it guys. These are the things you need to note and I have explained all my experiences of being a student at EC department of VAT AP University. If you still have any queries, just don't forget to comment your requiry or you can just DM me on my Instagram and I'll be happy to reply each and every one of you. Thank you so much. This is Vivek signing off. Stay safe, stay informative. Bye bye.